so I made my last video about year adjusted completion percentages for all the quarterbacks on the career leaderboard. And uh, I found something interesting that I thought people might think was cool. So uh, for people who don't know, Pro Football Reference publishes um, basically year yearly average statistics uh, at a league-wide level. So these numbers are how much each team gets in each game. So here you can see the average team gets 221 yards uh, throwing per game. Um, so you can see the rest of the stats. So I made a graph kind of just to show how things have changed um, over time. Um, and most of the stuff is basically what you expect. So here you can see yards per game have gone up from about uh, 150 per game to 225, as I said before. Um, this is starting in 1949. There was a big increase in 1978 after the rules were changed. And then kind of a, you can see a bit of an increase in the last 15 years, although there's a slight decline in recent years. Um, kind of the same thing for completions. It's basically been going up uh, over time. Completion percentage, as I showed before, is probably the one that's strongest. It's gone up almost every single year um, since the start of the league. And you can see the R squared is 0.952 which is very, very strong um, R squared. Interception percentage has been going down kind of in the opposite direction. And most of the, most of the stuff is basically what you would expect. Uh, teams have been getting better at throwing um, and the, it's been harder on defenses. One thing, however, has been basically constant. Uh, well, this one is not one of them. This is the yard for completion. So teams are throwing uh, shorter passes essentially, but the one I wanted to show was yards per attempt, which you can see the R squared is basically zero. And it's been more or less a flat trend uh, for the past 70 years, which I thought, I don't know, something I didn't expect. I would have thought yards per attempt had gone up, to be honest. Um, very surprised to see that it's flat. I guess there's an offset between the teams throwing shorter. So you can see the yards per completion going down and it's just precisely offset by completion percentages going up, which I don't know, seems a bit uh, odd to me because everything else has uh, been getting more efficient. I would have thought the yards per um, yards per attempt would be going up as well, but I guess not. So I just thought I'd share that uh, if anyone else uh, thinks it's interesting too.